hello welcome back to another video today i'll show you how i improved performance and battery life on my samsung galaxy note 10 plus with the exynos processor and as you know exynos has poor battery life compared to the snapdragon processor but as you can see in the screenshot i now get up to one day and seven hours of battery life with up to nine hours of screen on time my galaxy note 10 plus is up to date and running the latest android 12 and one ui 4.0 to start open settings tap on connections wi-fi options then advanced now to change these settings make sure you have wi-fi and mobile data turned on and then go back and turn off switch to mobile data turn on wi-fi power saving mode and then also turn off sync with samsung cloud next go back to connections i recommend that you turn off wi-fi and bluetooth and only turn them on when you need to use them now also turn off nfc and contactless payments now tap on mobile networks network mode and as you can see my phone supports 5g lte 3g and 2g networks but i'm currently using 2g only because 2g saves a lot of battery compared to 4g and 5g especially on exynos versions and as you can see in this 2g versus 4g battery test i got up to seven hours of more battery life compared to 4g so if your phone is always connected to wi-fi like mine i recommend that you switch to 2g if it's still supported by your service provider now go back to connections tap on mobile hotspot and tethering and make sure mobile hotspot is turned off now go back to connections once again, tap on more connection settings and turn off nearby device scanning. Next, go back to settings, tap on notifications, advanced settings, wireless emergency alerts and turn it off. Next, go back to settings, tap on display and turn on dark mode. Then also turn off adaptive brightness. Now tap on screen resolution. I recommend that you run the highest resolution which is 1440p for me because it has a very small impact on battery life and it gives you the sharpest visuals but you can also lower the resolution to 1080p or even 720p for a slight increase in battery life. Now go back to display settings, tap on screen timeout and use a lower screen timeout. I recommend using 1 minute or lower. Next go back to settings, tap on lock screen, always on display and turn it off. Next go back to settings. Tap on biometrics and security, fingerprints, and turn off fingerprint always on. Now go back to settings, tap on privacy, turn off send diagnostic data, then scroll down and tap on usage and diagnostics and turn it off. Now go back to settings, tap on location and turn it off, then tap on location services, turn off Wi Fi scanning and also Bluetooth scanning. Go back to settings. Tap on advanced features and disable all these settings if you don't use them. Then click on labs and enable multi window for all apps. Now go back to advanced features. Tap on S Pen if option is available. Then tap on air actions and turn it off if you don't use it. Then go back to S Pen and turn off allow multiple S Pens. Now go back to advanced features. Tap on motion and gestures and turn off these three settings. After that, go back to advanced features once again and disable Bixby routines. Now go back to settings, tap on battery and device care, tap on battery and make sure power saving mode is turned off and only turn it on when you really need to save battery. Now tap on background usage limit and turn off put unused apps to sleep. Next you're going to manually add apps you rarely use in deep sleep. To do that tap on deep sleeping apps and as you can see I already added these apps in deep sleep. Now tap here to add more apps in deep sleep which will prevent them from running in the background. Now go back to battery settings and turn off wireless power sharing when not in use. Now go back to battery settings once again, tap on more battery settings, turn off adaptive battery and enhance processing. Now go back to settings, tap on software update and tap on download and install to check and make sure that your phone software is up to date. Finally, go back to settings, tap on phone, software information and tap on build number 7 times. Enter your pattern or pin and now developer options will be available in settings. Now go back to settings, tap on developer options. If any of these settings aren't available in your developer options, just skip them. Now enable Wi-Fi scan throttling, disable mobile data always active, enable multi-core packet scheduler, then scroll down and set these three settings to animation scale 0.5x. Now just restart your phone and you're done. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.